Okay, so we're at Bubba Burgers. They have thousands of acres. They're going to require many, many cattle guards. They are using our reusable cattle guard forms. You can see they have six here. Concrete's on the way. In their case, they're using 5 8 inch. You really only need half inch. You can see it in the slots at the bottom. There's little slots there that it stays in, so you don't have to worry about where it goes. And then you have a rod going around the top. You can also use a fiberglass rod here. There's a little groove underneath that it sits in. And then you tie these rebars underneath it that'll give you from this depth here now not this depth but this depth to the center of this bar three and a quarter inches so from this depth to the center three and a quarter inches in this case instead of using a J bolt they're using a piece of rebar and later they'll put a chain across here if you drill a hole right here and you put a J bolt with the threads going down in the gap area, once you flip it over, you'll have threads there that you can put the chain on and lift it up and take it where you want. But if you have a forklift, you won't need that. But they do need to pick it up this way to be able to remove the form. They'll be able to use these over and over again. Now, because they're pouring so many of them, they're just bringing a concrete truck. Now, uh, farmers really will only need one of these products. It'll take 12 bags of uh, 4,000 psi cement, and uh, they can do it in the convenience of their barn make as many as they want, stack them up. Now, if you notice, we are in the shade, we are in a barn. I recommend that if you pour these, because it's plastic, the sun gets very hot. I'll give you an example. You can see the sun on this product right here. Now, today it's not too hot, so we're okay, but Sun and plastic uh, can it can manipulate the plastic a little bit. It'll still work fine. You just may get some uh, changes in this area, but it still works fine. All that's hidden underground anyway. But we recommend that all of these plastic forms be uh, kept in the shade, either under an oak tree or a big barn it from the sun and especially when you're letting the cure time once you fill this up with concrete if it's a hundred degrees outside it'll be almost 200 degrees inside so that's why we want you to keep it in the shade so we won't have that if you take care of your product it'll last you for a long long time now it's very important that you spray these okay Matt here is putting a release agent Matt what do you got here that you're putting on uh, diesel and oil. Decent, diesel, diesel and oil you can see how he's just using a rag and he's getting every little crunchy here and that'll be a good release agent
folks, we're at Bubba Burgers here, and um, we just um, waited till these got set up about uh, four days, and now we're ready to remove them and get them out there in the field and uh, stop opening and closing gates for these cattle guards. This is a commercial operation. And you can see they've poured six of them here. And we're ready to take them out of the uh, forms and uh, reuse them again. That's the beauty about this product. It's the least expensive product in the world. And here's the good thing. It's rated HS20. That means 32,000 pounds per axle. It already has its own foundation in. So once we remove these and flip them over, you'll be able to see the round and the big gap areas and the round and the big gap areas for when you drive across. But the cows, when they look at it, they see them gaps and they don't want to cross it. So this will eliminate you having to open and close gates all the time. So once he breaks the seal, it should fall right down. So you can see folks, the, uh, the form is really clean looking. You could take some vinegar and water and clean it out if you like, but they're coming out really good. insert a bolt it'll the threads will come up through here and the L part will be in the concrete and then the, use an 8 inch bolt right here uh, and then you can put a chain and you can uh, move them wherever you want folks here are six of the pre-poured pours and you could add to it if you want the beauty about this product is that you can make it as wide as you want or as long as you want and you can see there's one two three and if you wanted to add another one you could just keep going and you just put them end to end there's a little space in between there which won't really matter cows do not like that and they don't like these gaps in here so these are all nice and round so they don't like that and that's what we want things that the cows don't like and we don't need a gate here at this home they can come in and out as they please without opening and closing gates. And if you'll notice, the water will just drain right on through. They have a good fall going down to that lake. You always want to try to keep your cattle guards above elevation. In this case, They've got excellent drainage going all the way down to the pond, so it's not a problem. Beautiful, beautiful cattle guards. Just perfect in shape. And the good thing, you can always move these anytime you want. 